Luke here with the Cats and Carp YouTube channel, and I'm here on the Big Island of Hawaii, and I'm here with Ryan Myers from Ryan Myers Expedition, awesome spear fishing YouTube channel, and we're gonna go out and poke some fish. You ready, Ryan? That's the plan. All right. All right, we're here at this lovely local beach, and I've got the whole family here. Becca is gonna be sitting and painting, and uh, the kids are playing a little tidal pool with some friends. I mean, this is this is awesome. Oh, whew, the rock's a little hot. I better get my booties out before I cook my butt. We're treasuring this and that. We're gonna find it no matter what we do. Good we use your spear. No, I know I'm gonna fight again. Uh, right, I'm gonna take your GoPro and we're gonna jump fins in your hand, mask on. Jump like this, get out there. Once you're in the clear, you're in the clear, you're set. Straight off into the blue. Try and time that thing going out. Wet belly flop. Oh All right, so we got plenty of these King Cole's down here. Remember what I said they look like? They're down here below us. Try and see if you can pick out the King Cole that's not like the other regular blackfish. There's a ton of little blackfish down there, but you're looking for that King Cole, that's gonna be the one that's good to eat. Since I couldn't explain to you what was going on underwater, let me tell you what's going on right here. We are in 35 feet of water and we're spearing these big King Cole reef fish. They're very tasty, good eating fish. And the key to spear fishing like this is you've got to be as calm and as chill as possible. You're trying not to scare the fish and you're trying to keep your heart rate down so that you can sneak up like that. This is about 35 feet of water and each of these dives are taking about a minute to a minute 45 each. <laughs> That's it buddy. And these King Cole are a black surgeon fish and they have these little switch blades on their tail that are just the sharpest, craziest things you've ever seen. Well, King Cole, huh? Yeah, you see what is on his tail though? Yeah, those little, those those little razor blades, so watch out. Those will get you. Hey, remember the Moana Kali? They're, they're all right here, I'll point them out. Now there's a lot of great edible fish here in Hawaii, but one I really wanted to shoot was a Moana Kali or a type of goat fish. And we saw a few, so the key was to dive down behind this rock and as hold as still as possible and hope they come over to me. And you try to make some grunts and scratching noises to attract their attention. But it didn't happen, so I looked over to my right and I saw a couple King Kole. I said, well, while I'm down here, might as well shoot one. But the key is to just swing that gun and to move your head as calmly and as slowly as possible. Otherwise, you'll totally scare the fish. <laughs> nice fish, man. That's another good eater. <laughs> so this is another cool spot. We get under this rock and there's tons of these red, big-eyed, snapper-looking things. I think they're a type of squirrel fish or something. And I go and shot one right here. But the trick is trying to get it out from underneath the rock without pulling it off the shaft. But I'm not sure what it was, but any red fish in Hawaii is one you want to eat. This is a great example of what not to do and how to get lucky even when you screw it up. So I dive down, I'm drifting on these fish, and you see how calm they are because I'm holding perfectly still and moving very slowly. And then I extend my arm and boom, it scares them all away. Just pointing my gun at them scared them. But I wait and one comes around the corner, bam, I managed to blast him. It was the one fish that didn't see me stick my gun at him. <laughs> nice fish, man. Uh, another good one, bro. Now a spear gun is really great, but there's something simpler and more challenging to using a Hawaiian three prong. So I decided to go down and just try to see if I can get a King Cole with one of these three prongs. And so I dive down on this big boulder where I see a, a King Cole and I'm just got to creep way up on him. But your range is not as good with the three prong. I need to get a bit closer. I, I scratched him, but I wasn't able to really skewer him. 
But I was down there anyways, and so I reloaded my three prong and crept around the rock to see if I couldn't ambush something. And right down the lower left, boom, big King Cole right there surprises me, and I whiff and miss him by a long shot. So I reload again, and I keep going around this rock, and I look deep in the rock, and I see a big red fish with a pair of eyes staring at me. And I spear him right through the rocks, but then I gotta be really careful to work him through the rocks without pulling him off the spear, which is a mistake I've made a lot in the past. And it was just a cool red fish, and any red fish is a tasty fish in Hawaii. And this one had like cool blue bioluminescence on it. It was really a neat fish. So I'm pretty proud of that dive. I was underwater for about a minute and a half there. Whew. There you go. <laughs> That's a long dive, man. All right, Soupy, it's good to eat because he's red. Everything red is dead. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> Nicely done. Look at that beautiful bioluminescence on it. Yeah. So I saw an invasive fish called a Roy. It's kind of like a grouper. And so I went down there to go shoot that. And I had him all lined up and was drifting towards him. And then there was a little bit of a bang sound underwater. And all the fish scattered. And I fired. And a King Coley like jumped in front of the harpoon and just took one like a Secret Service agent. It was just so, yeah, it was kind of one of those, uh, those uh, accidental hits. But hey, tasty fish. There's a good one. I had him like lined up and that Roy took off and that King Cole took a bullet. This was the last dive of the day and after this one of the scariest things that's happened to me in the last 10 years happened. I was following Ryan to exit the ocean the way we came in and I got turned around and then got sucked in by a wave and that wave just manhandled me and just beat me up on the rocks for about 100 feet. And I thought I was gonna smash my brains Ooh. up and I, there was nothing I could do about it. Luckily, I just bruised my butt really bad and ended up about 100 feet down shore. You made it out! That was sketchy! <laughs> oh, holy crap, I, got, I followed you too close. I didn't have a good feel for where the, the, the get sucked in line was. So I'm kind of like, I'm following Ryan. And all of a sudden, I'm, it's like all bubbly and I can't see and then I see Coral. Like, <laughs> oh crap, I'm too close. And so I started to try to push myself off and then I felt the suction and I looked back and I'm like, oh jeez! And, and so then the wave just took me and I knew I was going right towards the rocks. And I couldn't see Jack. So I just put one hand over my head, put myself straight in the pencil, keep my knees out and just, you know, prayed basically. And then when I, I got washed up like way over there and luckily I got a few bruises on my butt, but I'm okay. So I was like, Oh, that was, that was bad. <laughs> we said we're getting out right here, not right there. I, I was right behind you until I wasn't. <laughs> Bro, that was the sketchiest thing you've done this whole trip, I'm telling you. These exits and entries are so sketchy, man. They're so sketchy. Yeah, I believe you. I, I, I feel that that is truly sketchy. But great fishing, though. Holy mackerel, you can shoot King Collies until you just blew in the right. face. Well guys, that was awesome. There were so many fish down there. But I'm here, and I'm not concussed. And we got the fish. Look at that. Go back, beachside fish fry. <laughs> yes. Holy mackerel. Now, now was it worth it? It was totally worth it. But I'm proud to, to say, I'm, uh, I bat 1,000 with the spear gun on this trip. You, you were. Hey, Becca. Oh, check out this orange one. See, look at you can see it's glowiness. See it? See right there? It's got those. It's got glow in the dark lines on him. Oh, you caught a whole bunch of those fish that you really like. Yeah, those are the king coles. You guys having fun? Oh, is this your bath? Yeah. yeah it's pretty cool. Nice. All right, guys, we got a big mess of fish. We're gonna make a campfire. We're gonna cook them up. That's the best part of spear fishing. It's fresh fish for dinner. My my bottom's a little sore. I wonder what that's all about. He almost died. What? Yeah, apparently you're not supposed to just let the waves take your soul in their hands and throw you on the rocks. I stood up and went looking. Those are knives. Gotta yeah. cut their little knives off. They will get you. Alright, Ryan and Sam here are being so kind and cleaning the fish and we got a little campfire going. This is wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Well, it sounds like they just have to have fun. Good Hi. job. Did you help get all the scales off that? Yeah. Oh, good. Got a frying pan with some peanut oil going here, getting that all nice and hot. 
And over here we got some fish getting nice and seasoned. He scored the skins and sprinkled some coarse garlic powder on there. That'll work beautifully. And you can't get any fresher than that. I can tell you. Oh! That's the way. <laughs> you know, the guy just wanted to get... Sun's going down. We got manpachis, we got coles, we got king coles. All in one pot. Cook it up. You've got your t-shirts, yeah. you've got your charter, you know, whatever yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. You're hungry? You want to try some fish? Yeah, I want to grab that that fish by the tail and start gobbling it down. I'm that hungry. Oh, well, we'll get you a shot here. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, oh they do good. so good, don't they? Okay, we got Garlic Salt Bay here, and he is... He, oh, yeah. It's ready to eat right now. Jacob, oh, are you sad because you want to eat fish yeah. right now? Well, come eat some fish. Yeah. There, that little crispy orange piece. Oh, here's it. Here, Nate. That's amazing. Yeah? It's like chicken nuggets. Mmm. Yeah, I don't want to eat the rib cage. You don't want to eat the rib cage? Okay, don't, you don't have to eat the rib cage. Yeah. It's amazing. It tastes like potatoes. Eating the spines? Good for you. When I lived in Japan, I had a friend cook up a big spiny fish for me, and I asked him, well, what parts can you eat? What parts can't you eat? And he said, anything you can chew, you can eat. Exactly. Words to live by. Tommy just told me this is the best fish he's ever had. Yeah. It does taste good. <laughs> just glad not to have dad's cookie. <laughs> oh, it's fish chips. Yeah, fish chips. I prefer the kole over everything. So today we had kole, king kole, and menpachi. Or as I like to call them, black blue gill, the, the pink one, one, and the glow in the dark one. Cool. Love you, Becca. You Love having you. a good day? I'm having a great day. Whoa, you know? Is that a weapon? Oh, I mean, he... oh, I thought you were talking about Mason's club of doom. Yes, oh, Look at that sunset. Isn't that beautiful? Ryan, man, thanks so much. That was so yeah. much fun. That was cool. That was cool. I, I'm truly shocked by your level of diving, man. Like, I, I take a lot of beginners, and I do not see that level of diving, hunting, and shooting all at the same time. I am really good at sinking to the bottom and just laying there. That's the whole game. You go to the bottom, do nothing, wait for those fish, and then make a good shot. This is like the sport I've been waiting for my whole life. <laughs> That's it. You want me to just, like, lower my heart rate and just, like... Do nothing. Do, no do nothing. I am going to rock at spearfishing. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> but seriously, guys, if you want to see some hardcore free diving and spearfishing, check out Ryan's channel. What's the deepest you've ever dove? I've been to 260. 260 yeah. feet yeah. on one breath. One breath. That's sick. <laughs> That's Aquaman crap. That's it, right there. So, at any rate, check out his YouTube channel. I'll put a link down in the video description. And check out our trip to Hawaii. I'll put a link in the video description when that posts as well. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe.